Well, hey there, I'm excited because tonight's the night I'm actually going to try and get the supercharger on the Ranger and actually get it started. I don't know if I'll be able to drive it tomorrow. I'm still working on some throttle cable issues, but I should be able to start it with the throttle body on there and everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and get things torn down on the top of the engine. You've seen that enough, so I'll spare you that and bring you in when it's time to put the plenum on the intake. Well, it's time to go ahead and get this plenum adapter put on. So we've got the top all stripped down, as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and start setting that down on there. Uh, let me show you what I've got going on with this. So I've got the holes drilled that will allow me to attach and bolt down the supercharger to this base plate here. I've got a couple holes drilled and tapped here. That's where I'm gonna be able to fit a screw and a socket down in, uh, or a bolt, one of these bolts in, like that. And then the socket will be able to go down in there as well. And then I'll just bolt that up. Well, here it is. It's on. It definitely was a little bit trickier. Uh, the holes that I drilled allowed me to get the extension through, but not the socket. I didn't drill it big enough for the socket for the bolts to do it. And it was tricky and a little worrisome. Obviously, if I drop that socket, eh, I'm going to have to take the whole thing off and fish it out of the intake. But I got them on. I got it tightened. Next up is the supercharger. All right, there it is. Sitting on there, I don't have it tightened down, but it's set how we want it to. The goal here is to check the belt, but I'm going to get the stock belt off so I can get a rope around it to measure for the size belts I need and then possibly go pick up that belt. Well, I ran to O'Reilly hoping they might have a 109.5 inch belt, but unfortunately they don't. So I'll have to check with a couple other stores tomorrow, maybe some of the truck stores, and maybe I'll be able to get lucky and find one because I really don't want to have to take this off. I would love to get it going tomorrow. Well, hello and welcome to another day. It's a beautiful fall day out, and so I'm going to be leaving the door open. So if you hear any background noise, it's just coming from outside because it's so nice out. I got a belt only to realize I had grabbed the wrong belt. I got a eight rib instead of a six rib. So I'm gonna have to go swap that out, but it looks like they do have one in the right length. Um, I've got the plenum on and I'll just go ahead and show you. I'm putting these brass plugs in right here. They cover up the holes. So that way no air leaks back out and this is actually sealed up. So next we'll be putting the gasket down and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the supercharger on and bolt it in. I think I've got enough of the air ducting worked out in the back and I'm gonna have too much of an issue. This is really just a trial. I want to get it started and then we'll finish up going from there. I've got this all bolted in. I'm working on getting the sending unit, as you just saw. Um, this is going to go to the idle air intake, or the idle air control module. It's a hose that runs around to the front side. This is going to sit right here, like that. And I may have to reinforce this someday, make it a little stronger, but I think it'll work well. It's got three sides of this bolted in, and that'll be my ignition control and then I can start wiring up the spark plug wires. Speaking of spark plug wires, uh, only one of these is actually long enough. The rest are too short, so thankfully I had the spare engine, this engine, the wiring came with it, and I have one that's long enough and I had to go buy a complete wiring set just to get the one extra long one. But at least I'll have it. Well, hey there, we've got just about everything hooked up. The last belt was too tight. This one's actually a little too loose, but I think it might have enough that we could try starting it. 
we'll see what happens. Uh, I was in a mad scramble last night, so I did not get a lot of filming done to finish things up. The supercharger's on. Um, I've got a makeshift throttle bracket right here. I just threw some stuff together so I could actually have some air intake. I don't notice any vacuum leaks. It seems to be running fairly well. Uh, the issue I'm having is I'm not getting any boost. Um, I'm wondering if, or this larger pulley, maybe it's just timed up perfectly that it's not producing any. So that's my big thing. It's running about the same as it would if it didn't have the supercharger, which is annoying and frustrating, but I'm not getting any high temps and I'm getting no boost. Well, good morning. I thought I'd give a quick update. The truck's running great. It runs like an engine that's had an extra accessory added to it, which it has in the blower, but I'm getting no boost from it. The vacuum all looks the same. There might even be a bit of a drag on power, and that makes sense since it's got to turn that supercharger pulley. I'm just happy it's running. I checked, there's no leaks anywhere it's not a vacuum leak going in or pressure getting lost somewhere out the back or the sides um, so i'm at a bit of a loss i've got some ideas but i'm interested to hear your comments so feel free to leave a comment uh, in the comment sections and i look forward to hearing what your thoughts are i'm thinking i might have something to do with a smaller harmonic balancer but i'll look into that i'll find out and i'll report back as always I appreciate you watching. Be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe.